Y'all, I'm Instapotting for the first time. I didn't almost burnt the food. I didn't put too much water. Listen, hot mess, but turned out great, I guess. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's poppin' my YouTube family and welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. To my YouTube family that is already subscribed, I thank you so, so, so much for your continuous support. So y'all, today, what we are about to do, we about to use an Instapot. Now, I've been wanting one of these, been too cheap to buy it. My beautiful fiance bought me one for Christmas, AKA Santa Claus. Brought me an Instapot. Listen, I, ne I have not used this before. I am using it with you guys today. First time using it, I have no, I'm pretty sure, it's not rocket science, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna screw it up. But listen y'all, we about to make some quick beef stew because when I think of Instapot, I think of AKA, I ain't got time. I need to make a nice hearty meal, delicious meal for my family. I ain't trying to be slaving over no stove. Where my Instapot, let's get it done. So y'all, I'm gonna get right into it. So the Instapot, it came with, these three pieces of paper. One tells you how to basically take care of your Instapot. One basically gives you a nice little snazzy um, little paper that basically tells you how long certain things should cook. Meats and vegetables, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put that on my refrigerator. And this um, is basically how to use it. So one is maintenance, one is how to use it. And one is like a little page to tell you how long stuff should cook. So of course you have the lid right here, nothing major. Here is our inner pot that you use right here, nice little inner pot. And of course we have the star of the show, our Instapot, okay? So let's get right into it y'all. I am not going to sear off no meat. You know, a lot of people I've seen when I was like um, watching videos, a lot of people like seared their meat off first and then the brown residue at the bottom is it calls for major flavor and all this other stuff. We don't have time. Listen, you Instapot equals we ain't got time. We want a tender fender bender meal and we ain't got no time. So this is what we go do. So this is the pot everything goes in y'all. So I have my, we're making beef stew if I didn't tell you guys. So here is my beautiful chunks of meat right here. Beautiful chunks of beef stew meat. Wonderful, wonderful. I like to keep the fat on because that is going to render down and call for more flavor. So let's get to seasoning this up, you guys. So there we go. We are going to season this with some black pepper. Season to taste. Season to taste. Season to taste. That's all I can say. Okay, that's black pepper. Here is some granulated garlic. Season your meat. Season your meat. We are using some salt-free onion and herb seasoning. Do, 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 do. All right. And lastly, but not least, we are going in with some steak seasoning. Do do do. Flavor. 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 What 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 what? Flavor. Take your hand, mix it up. Woo! Them seasonings is powerful. Boy, that pepper. Pepper trying to get all up in your nose and your nostril. Okay, so. Look at that. I mean, how could you not look at your meat and be like, yeah, this is seasoned well. You could just look at this and be like, wow, that's gonna taste good. You could look at it in a raw form and be like, wow, this is actually gonna be bomb, right? So, let's take our pot. We just go add our meat right in. 
I'm not searing off. I'm not sauteing. And it is a, um, wash my hands real quick. It is a, um, saute button on here, y'all. I'll show y'all all the buttons. A lot of you guys probably already have Instapots, but, you know, if you like a beginner like me, this is for the beginners. It's not for the veterans. You know what I'm saying? So, we have our beautiful seasoned beef right in there, just like that. We are going to get that out the way. Let's go get our vegetables. So, the veggies of my choice for my beef stew goes as follows. We have some garlic, okay, because y'all know I love garlic. You could crush it up, you could mince it up, you could chop it up, but this stuff is going to cook down and be so tender. This is just all going to just fall apart anyways. So I'd rather keep them whole, and as it's cooking, have that flavor just infuse and bust open and infuse all in my Instapot, okay? So I'm using garlic, carrots, okay, they didn't have the baby carrots. This is like sliced carrots, what was it like? sliced carrot so i just took like a sliced carrot and basically it came like that like a carrot sticks and i just basically cut them in half boom celery <laughs> excuse me y'all see that pepper that pepper potato and yellow onion that's it these are my vegetables okay so what you want to do season everything because you're going to eat everything okay the meat let the meat have its own seasoning give your veggies a little light seasoning of their own you know what i'm saying they want some love too give them a little bit of love you ain't got to give them a lot of love they're gonna have garlic they're gonna have pepper okay they're gonna have garlic they're gonna have pepper they're gonna have um salt free onion and herb on there Look at that steak seasoning. You know what I'm saying? Come on, give your veggies some love too. Don't even act like that. Give it a nice little toss. Give it a nice toss. I'm excited about using this, y'all. I love like quick meals. I love crock pot meals, quick meals. So I know I'm gonna love this Instapot. And it's cutting down half of the cooking time too. So I can have my beef stew in like an hour versus like four three or four what okay y'all so here go our boom 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 vegetables so let's get our pot ah, and let's dump our veggies right in everything gonna cook all together dumping our veggies right in right in right in put that over here hands of rinse now y'all now 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 if you do not have beef broth which I don't right I am going to use let me get this out the way so I can show y'all ah, what I'm doing I am going to use water and beef base now we're going to use water Again, and beef base, okay? If you do not have beef base, don't trip out. Use regular water. If you do not have beef, you know, the already made beef broth or um, beef base to flavor your water, use regular water. Your season is it's gonna flavor the broth, okay? Don't trip. Don't even trip. So let's get our pot right here with all our goodness in it let me get this a toss too hold up y'all let me get this a nice toss look at all that season oh my god it smells so good how do something smell good and it ain't even cooked yet come on man that's how you know something about to be bomb that's how you know you got your potatoes in there yeah I'm gonna like this thing okay y'all so Boom. And then go my max line. Y'all can see right here. This is the max line, I guess, where I guess you're not supposed to put food or liquid over this line. Um, I'm taking it. I don't know. Maybe food could go up. To, I don't know if this is just for liquid or food. But we're going to try to follow the rules and not go past this line. Right? 
So let me go over here and get some water. Uh, let me get some water. And we go do. This is probably gonna take um. Now I can add my beef base to the water, y'all. I could, but I mean, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just it's not that serious. Just put in the water. So that's two cups. Let's see. We probably gonna need. We might need six cups, y'all. That's two. Uh, that's four. I think six. Let me see. Okay, so that's four, and six. Six is perfect. Six was perfect for that. Okay, so now we got in our six cups of water, like that. And that's why you want to be kind of generous too with your seasonings, you guys, because if you're using, if you're using plain, just water, and you don't have the beef base, be generous too with your seasonings. Okay, so we're gonna add a heaping spoonful ooh, of this beef base. Okay. Ugh. Add it right in. Give it a little stirry stir. A little stirry stir. A little stirry stir. You know what I'm saying? Nothing major. You know, you just wanna make sure that beef base is all throughout. So y'all, I'm not gonna add in any um, slurry right now because I want to, I'm just stirring it around y'all until my uh, beef base is like disintegrated in there. But um, I'm not gonna add a slurry to this right now. I'm actually gonna wait until it is done and then add the slurry, okay? And it's just gonna be a simple um, flour slurry. I don't have no cornstarch. It's going to be straight up flour. And that flour is going to be bomb. And I'm going to season that flour um, slurry also. Let's see. So look at that. So it gave it a nice brown color. That um, beef base. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. So shoot. Man, they said... Put your stuff up in there. Now, y'all, I'm going to show y'all how this come out. For real, for real. I'm not going to not show you guys. Because, like I said, this is my first time using it. It's raw and uncut. I don't know how it's going to come out. This is what it's looking like. I know the flavor's going to be there. But, like, the cooking times and stuff. You know, because this is my first time using it. I don't know um, how it's going to come out. So, we go put, we're going to put this in our pot. And uh oh, we gonna put this in our pot, y'all. And I think I'm gonna start it on 30. I'm gonna take y'all over um to my. I'm about to plug it up, y'all. And I'm gonna take y'all over there. And this should be fun too, cause I mean I read it. I'm lying. I ain't even read the instructions. I'm going off of like YouTube and stuff. I ain't read. I ain't read jack. So y'all about to figure this right out with me. It can't be that hard. It say meat stew right here it can't be that hard so stay tuned y'all okay my youtube fam i told y'all raw and uncut so i have my um instapot plugged in over here where it needs to be as you can see off not on so now i guess the lid let me take y'all right here i guess the lid just I guess the lid, I guess it'll click on. Wait, hold up. See, this is why kids read instructions. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, that's not it. Hold up. That's not closed. Okay. What? Yeah. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold up. Okay. 
Okay, wait, let me. Okay. Y'all. I mean, why though? Would it be. It shouldn't be like that hard. Wait, close. Ha! 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 Okay? Boom! Okay? This goes to show you humans is better than all this new technology crap. Okay, so we on, okay? Now, oh lord, kind of intimidating a little bit though. Okay, so y'all, hey, let's just do meat and stew. Wait, do you put the okay, y'all? Meat and stew. That joint automatically. Okay, I could do 35 minutes. That's what I wanted to do anyways. So, wait. What? Oh, snaps. It started, y'all. Without me even confirming. <gasps> it's cooking. Wait, so what is this? Less normal more. High pressure meat stew. Very, very interesting. Yo, should I have to put it on pressure cook? Nah, I, nah, meat stew. Because, I mean, it's stew. It's beef stew. Okay, y'all. So, this is on for 35 minutes on high pressure, normal. I guess you could change it right here if you want to put it, like, less or more. But, is that light on? Hold on. Why is that light on? Okay, yeah. Because I don't know if that was supposed to be on. Keep warm? Why would you... Y'all, I told y'all, raw and uncut. Raw and uncut. Beef stew, baby. It's gonna be good, though. So, I guess it's on. I don't... Oh, wait. Is this a start button? Oh, no. I hear it, y'all. I hear it cooking. You don't even need to press this or nothing. Okay, y'all. I hear it. Okay. Damn, it's boiling already, it sounds like. This joint ain't no joke. Look at me. I'm, I get, you Don't touch this. Don't be like me because I didn't rub it. I didn't know if that was scorching hot already or not. So, y'all, it's on. I'm going to be back in 35 minutes to show y'all what it's looking like. Hopefully, it's looking spectacular. Stay tuned. Okay, my YouTube family. I'm so... We have come to the end. We have come to the end. We have cooked our beef stew ingredients for 35 minutes in this pressure cooker. So, they said you have to release. Here we go. This is the... Let's see if I can see it. This is the release joint right here. So I'm going, whoa, -ho -ho. okay, so there we go. I guess we got to let all the air out. Not really too much, a little bit. So I guess after, um, pull this up a little bit. I don't want to get too close. So I guess y'all, after the steam is released, then we are going to open it. We are going to see what it looks like. I have already made me a flour slurry right here. This is just flour water. And I added in some seasoning salt. So we are going to add that into our Instapot when it is done. So it is venting. I guess when it's done making that intimidating noise, we will be ready. To open it so I'll be back you guys when this quiets down all right my YouTube family am so all of the steam is out and when all of the steam was done this little metal piece right here it went down I guess when it's still steam in this pot this uh, metal pin is up but it drops down when all of the steam is done. And as you can hear and see, there's no steam coming out. So now let's open it and let's see what our um, stew is looking like. Oh, after 35 minutes. Here we go. Okay. Wait, let me get my little spoony spoon. 
Okay. I mean, I mean, it's. Let me see here. Bear with me, y'all, because I'm holding the phone in one hand. I mean, it definitely. Hold up. Let's see. We gotta. We gotta test out that beef. Beef definitely looks done. So I am going to taste this little piece here. This is what the beef looks like. That's what the beef looks like right there. I'm going to sit this down right here. Grab this piece of beef. Whoa. God, it is tender as heck. It is tender. Just on a 35. What the heck? Okay, so. Wow. Now, what I'm going to do. Oh, it's <clears throat> oh that pepper so now what I'm gonna do is add in my slurry and I seen somebody on YouTube put in their slurry and put it like on the um, saute um, the saute one um, I don't know I'm thinking well I guess I could do that so I guess that's what we'll do too. Because I don't want to put it back on meat and stew. Because I don't know. I think I'm going to put it back on meat and stew y'all. So I'm about to add in this slurry. And then we are going to add in this slurry. Okay. And then we are going to. And actually after tasting that meat y'all. I still want to add. A little bit more seasoning that's what I'm saying you could really be generous generous so I'm gonna add ugh, a little bit more steak seasoning like that and ugh, I'm gonna add in some garlic salt it's good though y'all and season to taste you ain't gotta don't you ain't gotta do exactly what I'm doing. Season to taste. Okay. So boom. So let's give that a stir. Let's give this a stir. And I think I'm going to. I mean, the meat is tender as ever. So I think I'm going to even add a little bit more flour because I want to thicken like all this juice up. And y'all, I told y'all this is in this. Listen, y'all, I told y'all this raw and uncut. I don't even think that you really needed to fill the water up to the full. You could have probably filled the water up like mad low. You did not need to fill it up 45 gallons like me. But this is my first time using it. I'm learning trial and error. I'm having a great time. And it is smelling good. And that beef was delicious. So y'all I think I'm going to thicken it up. And add a little bit more flour to it. And I will show you guys like the finished result. And then I think I'm going to put it back on um, the meat and stew for maybe like 10 minutes. Nothing more than 10 minutes y'all. So I'll be back to show y'all what, what this looking like. Stay tuned. Yup, YouTube fam. See? Y'all think I'll be playing. I'm literally, for the thousandth time, is giving this to y'all raw and uncut. So y'all know that I added in um, a flour slurry. And I put it like on 10 more minutes just to, you know, let that gravy get all up in that pot or whatever. Y'all, I come in here to check it to see if the 10 minutes up. Look what it say. Burn food burn food listen i don't know what's going on inside of this pot but if this expensive beef is toe up i'm going to cry so i guess we need to release it again wait hold on let me get my other hand y'all i guess we need to what the y'all it's not even Y'all, it's not even releasing. Y'all, 
it's not even no steam in here y'all okay so this joint say burn <laughs> hey trial and error here we go y'all oh what okay okay wait a minute y'all because I think they I think it actually had my back hold on I'm looking for a spoon y'all I think that this thing actually let me see I think it actually had my back y'all and it was like listen sis come get your stew or you about to burn your food oh this thing is dope so I think it got an automatic turn off when your food is sensing your food about to burn this is pretty cool so y'all the gravy got nice and y'all my dog on phone ran out of space because i'm using my phone okay y'all so i wanted to show y'all it did not burn like this thing literally lets you know like yo listen you are about to burn your food you better come get it this came out very good it's nice and thick and hearty and again you guys the only thing that i would change is the amount of liquid that i added you do not need that much liquid so i had to add a lot of cornstarch slurry excuse me a lot of flour um slurry to this to thicken up the um you know to thicken up the juice in here so when you add in that flour slurry of course you want to add in some more seasoning because you don't want to you know that water and that flour is just going to dump down your flavors but y'all long story short bomb bomb like everything cooked like evenly like the potatoes is not crazy insanely soft the beef is tender like listen the gravy thickened up good i mean i am happy with it. i cannot wait to use this again you guys so as always i thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video everybody stay safe and stay blessed Mwah.